Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope tries to slap Steffi and issues a warning, while Zend asks Luna a pointed question. Hope glares at Steffi in Forrester's dressing room, telling her that Thomas has abandoned her and she has gotten her way, but she's still standing there rubbing her nose in it. Steffi informs Hope that she injured her brother, and that this is the nicest thing that could have happened to him. It's time she learned a lesson. Do not mess with my family. Brooke may have robbed her father, but Hope will not steal her brother. Steffi explains that Hope never actually wanted Thomas. He was merely a plaything for her. Hope claims she loved him. Steffi wonders if she loved him or was leading him on. She was tired of manipulating her brother's emotions and treating him like a sex toy. Hope says, you're so wrong for that. What Thomas and I share goes much beyond the physical. Steffi believes she was pretending to love him while dragging him along. She questions why she's wearing his ring on a dumb necklace. Hope believes she was open to the idea of going down that road with him. Steffi is certain she was only using him. Hope smirks as Steffi tries to disgrace her. Steffi goes on to say that Hope manipulates Thomas's emotions and uses sex to dominate him, just as Brooke did with her father and grandfather. Hope exclaims, How dare you! and lifts her hand to slap Steffi. Steffi grabs her wrist and says, Don't even try it. Steffi Hope. Hope does not have to defend her character to Steffi. The brunette claims Thomas is tired of proving himself to you. Hope wonders if she is blind. She couldn't see how happy they were together. She had to wreck the best connection her brother had ever had. You simply couldn't help yourself, could you? Making charges about me. What? I'm a Logan who wants to destroy a Forester man. Really? She tells Steffi that not everything is about her. This was not about their history and she was not looking for vengeance. You truly are heartless. Thomas and I were working things out. It took me a bit to find forgiveness and trust your brother again, but we were growing together. She gave him a chance because she adored him. We were creating something together, Steffi, for ourselves, for hope for the future and for our family. We'll never know what that future looks like because of you. Hope describes Steffi as a sad human wrecking ball who had to demolish all she and her brother were working on together. More, Forgotten Forrester is back. Steffi mocks Hope's claim that she and Thomas had a great grand love story. Maybe Thomas thought it was, but you didn't. Hope claims she doesn't know what's in her heart. Steffi isn't concerned about her feelings. I'm never going to buy it. Hope claims her father was pulling for them. Steffi claims her father may have believed the Logan propaganda but she does not. You're trash. She describes her as a sad little harlot. Are you trying to be Stephanie now? Hope inquires. She refuses to take the bait and sink to her level. She accuses her of destroying something lovely, while also harming her own brother. Enough. You have broken my life apart. Congratulations. But you're only doing that because you're unhappy with your own life. She has destroyed her brother's family and is happy. That's sick. Mark my words. You're going to regret this. I'm not sure how or when, but you're going to regret it. Steffi Hope. Brooke and Ridge discuss the problem involving Hope and Thomas in the main office. Ridge claims his son reached his breaking point. Brooke laments about Douglas leaving and claims Hope's entire world has been flipped upside down. Ridge is sad, but she never intended to marry Thomas, so he moved on. Brooke addresses Hope's lack of readiness. She is honest, genuine, and truthful and she is being punished for it. Ridge wonders whether Thomas should have put his life on hold. Brooke tells him he's beginning to sound like Steffi. Ridge believes Hope and Thomas are at different stages of their life. Perhaps Hope didn't think Thomas was marriage material. Brooke believes she may be unable to forgive Thomas after the baby Beth tragedy. Ridge shrugs and says it doesn't really matter. At this time they should be overjoyed together. Brooke laughs. Is that the way you felt about me? Rich claims it's always been like way. He understands that if it isn't there at the start, it will never be there, whether or not Steffi interfered. Brooke claims she was quite harsh to her daughter. Rich claims she was defending her sibling. He believes that quitting was the finest thing Thomas could have done. Brooke squints. How can you say that? Rich reminds her that her daughter had crushed him and broken his heart. Rich Brooke bed and breakfast. Rich and Brooke argue about Thomas running away. She claims that it does not alleviate problems, 
and only exacerbates them for those who remain behind. Rich believes Thomas had no choice but to go, and Douglas has told his mother he wants to live with his father. He did not want it to end like this or at all. Brooke claims Hope did the best she could under the circumstances. She only wanted to wait till she was ready. You would think Steffi would understand, yet she waited for the first opportunity to assault her daughter. More. B&B organizes an epic romantic reunion. Luna sits down to work at RJ's beach house, but her mind wanders back to Zen's house, where she discovered they had slept together. Just then Zend appears. She informs him that RJ has gone on a run. Zen sees it as an excellent opportunity for them to catch up. He hopes she isn't still worried up from their night together. Luna wishes she could claim she wasn't. She tells him it is nothing personal, but she and RJ are in a relationship, and she never intended to betray him. Zend assumes she hasn't told him. Luna shakes her head. He still has no idea. More B&B goes there with Zend. Zend wonders if she's still considering telling RJ. Luna is constantly thinking about it. Every day does not feel like a lie, but she is keeping quiet to protect him and his relationship with his cousin. Zen does not want to hurt RJ, but he is anxious for her. He thinks a lot about what happened that night. Part of him is humiliated while another part. There's no secret, Luna. I am crazy about you. Fin de Luna. They go over. Luna accidentally took her mother's special mints. If Zend had known, he would not have let her do it. Luna does not blame him. Zend is glad. He wonders if she ever thinks of him. Putting away everything else, is there a part of you that thinks about us and wonders whether we could be good together? Hope's line is axed, and Eric punishes Steffi for putting Forrester creations at risk. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers claim that Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, persuades Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, to abandon Hope Logan, Annika Noel. What about Thope in the office, however? Thomas can concentrate on another line. But Steffi may choose to humiliate Hope even more by discontinuing her fashion line. So what happens if Steffi makes this decision without Rich Forrester, Torsten K., or Eric Forrester's John McCook approval? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, according to BNB teasers, Thomas proposed to Hope again. Even though Hope adores Thomas, she was unable to accept the marriage proposal. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Hope's line is axed, and Eric punishes Steffi for putting Forrester creations at risk. Hope stated that she was still processing her divorce from Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton. Hope had other reasons, but Thomas ignored them. BMB spoilers. Hope Logan's plea. Thomas informed Steffi that Hope had rejected another marriage proposal. Steffi confronted Hope and leveled numerous claims against her. Then Steffi gloated about convincing Thomas to end their relationship forever. That's when Hope approached Ridge and Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, for assistance. Hope insisted that Steffi was sabotaging her relationship with Thomas. Ridge did not share Brooke's empathy whereas Hope did. Ridge was furious and would seek answers from Hope later this week. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Steffi Forrester Finnegan's vengeful decision. The bold and the beautiful spoilers hint that Steffi is celebrating her victory this week. So, Steffi convinces Thomas to abandon his relationship with Hope. The only thing is that Thomas and Hope collaborate. That could make it impossible for them to separate from each other. What if Steffi tells Hope that she is discontinuing the fashion line? Thomas can go work on another line without issue. However, HFTF is Hope's baby. B&B spoilers. Eric Forrester's fury? If Steffi decides to terminate HFTF, Hope will most likely make a plea to Ridge and Eric. While Ridge is unlikely to reverse Steffi's choice, Eric is very likely to do so. Eric is determined to maintain power of Forrester creations. Any decision taken without his consent may not go over well. Furthermore, Thope is currently killing it in the fashion industry. So Steffi's vindictive decision could be terrible news for Forrester creations bottom line. Will Eric fire Steffi for misusing her power? Steffi has been doing very well for a long time. It appears that she is about to become nasty at some point in the future.